Right, Chris, a solo for Better Days. Uh, there's five parts essentially, so this is the first part. <laughs> So, breaking it down, so we've got a bend on the 7th fret of the G string and you just kill the note at the top. Play the 5th fret of the G string and then the 7th of the D string to the 7th of the A string back to the 7th of the A string. Play that twice. And then you play 5 to 4 on the A string to the 7th of the, the D string. And then you play 6 to 7. So you're playing 6 to 7 on the A string to 7 on the D string. Play that three times. And then on the last time you play 6 to 7 to 6 on the G string to finish that section. So that's the, the first phrase. The second phrase goes like this. So you're playing four and five on the G and the B string, sliding up to six, seven, strumming back down, and you play that three times. And then you're playing 7 to 5 to 3 on the A string and then you're playing on the 5th fret of the E string and then back to 3 on the A string with a slight bend and then loads of vibrato on that last note on the, the E string on the 5th fret. So that's the, the, the second phrase. Third phrase goes something like this. So that's going 9 to 7 to 6 to 4 on the G string and then 7th fret of the D string and you're playing that phrase twice. Then the fourth phrase is So you're bouncing basically off between 6 on the G string to 5 on the B string back to 6 on the G string to 7 on the B string and then you finish on the 4th fret of the, the G string so it goes like this. So that's your 4th phrase. And then your final phrase, fifth phrase, is almost a kind of uh, Japanese sound to it. It's, you're playing on the 11th fret of the B string and the 12th, oh sorry, of the G string and the 12th fret of the G string. You slide up to that. So you're playing 9, 10 and 12, playing both strings at the same time. And then that takes you back, back to your D chord for your uh, chorus again.